Hello everybody and welcome to episode 13 of the Hell World series. I almost said hardcore again. Whoa, what in the world? <laughs> what? Ah, early access. How we do love you. And the Tomcats, because they make some interesting noises. This tree was not here last time. I'm not sure how to feel about them just casually respawning whenever they feel like it. Not cool. Not cool at all. Alright, 150 stamina, that should probably do. Or ever. If I remember correctly, I was trying to build some kind of other heat source. You know what? Maybe we should try a cooking pot. No, we'll try this. Where's my charcoal? I believe I set some up to be cooked in the previous episode. I have. Hey, Fox Barks, what are you doing? Hey, you have work to do. Get on it. Yeah, come on. Two more charcoal to go. One more. Come on. You can do it. We believe in you. By we, I mean me. By me, I mean you. You believe in yourself. I don't want to have to do that for you, too. Then I'll have to be doing all the work. All right, now that we've got our charcoal, we should be able to build the heater. 20 ingots. Yeesh. We'll put it right here near the campfire. Like so. We have our right-hand lizard. We do. Simmons. Go. No? Just run away? Okay, let's see how it is. Go. Help with that. And there he goes again. Whatever. Do your thing. How long is that gonna take? Oh god, a whole minute. Well, I guess I'll take this time to put a campfire next to it. Or a cooking pot. See if I can't... Get that treated as a heat source. Or if it acts as a campfire instead. Oh, <laughs> he's definitely gonna catch on fire. Hold on. Do you see this? They're all bunching up. Someone's gonna end up burning. I know it. <laughs> I can sense it. Hopefully, this won't take too much longer. We have another 10 seconds on this cooking pot. We look at the egg, there's 23 minutes left. It should change once the pot is rafted. And no, this cooking pot did nothing. So we'll get rid of it. Goodbye, cooking pot. You'll be remembered, probably. Suppose I'll help him with this then. The rest of them went back to doing whatever they were doing. So I guess it's just me and you, Tansy. Best buds, the closest of friends. By that I mean a manager and his employee. Okay, can I cook in this? Oh, that's the campfire. I thought I was saying I could cook things inside the heater. So that requires kindling. Okay, so because I threw the fox sparks at this refinery, it's the only thing he'll do. But now that I've built that, I should be able to throw him just about anywhere, and he should automatically go to that heater right there. Go, fox sparks. And he did, but also, I don't think it affected the time. Did it? 22 minutes, and if I pick him up... Suddenly, it's still 22 minutes. Seems very comfortable. Interesting. So I guess I don't have to worry about this. Well, 22 minutes, it's not too bad, is it? I don't think so. Now, I am assuming in order for me to get the wheat plants, the wheat seeds, I mean, that I need to continue these wheat seeds, I'm going to have to go north because it seems like I'm at the bottom of the map, roughly, and I want to go up. That should lead me further into the map and hopefully into things that will give me wheat seeds. Hopefully. However, before we get too invested, let's take a peek at this. This thing is destructive, which means it loses sanity faster. Guess I won't be replacing my fox parks then. Let's fast travel over here and just start heading north. Capture or kill anything we find, including this tansy. Do we have ten of these? I guess we're about to find out. Do I have my spear? No. Hold on. Spear. Come here, Tansy. You can't run from me, like they think. Yeah, I'm faster than you, so you can't run from me. I'm gonna get you. Dodge. Let's get the lizard in on this. Wait, but <laughs> that wolf just ran right past me. Oh, Jesus. Okay, Simmons, relax. Good God, I was trying to catch them, not kill them. Fine, I'll take this thing out then. Ouch. That was definitely a poorly timed roll. Come on, do your attack. Oh, God. Maybe don't then. Alright, rolling to the side is usually more efficient than rolling toward them. But you can do it Dark Souls style and just kind of do both. Toward and to the side. So do you see that in the distance? What is, is that the, That's the thing from the cover. Or the, the trailer, whatever. The Relaxosaurus, I believe. I want it. I will have it. Balls. 36%? That's pretty... Oh, no. Don't. Don't. You're not going to do it, are you? <laughs> If he came out of the ball there, he might have fallen down the bridge. That would have been very interesting. I'm apparently hungry. Let me fix that. 
Shrooms, not the best way to fix that problem, but hey, work with what you got. Now where's my actual food? Do I have any? <laughs> this music is popping off. I think it's because there's a monkey under the bridge. Ooh, a little collectible thing. Let me grab that real quick. Mm-mm-mm, collectibles. Now it says that I'm not hungry anymore, but I doubt that's gonna hold me off for very long because I really just ate a single mushroom. There's no eggs, no berries. I also have to clear my inventory. Yeah. I came out very unprepared. Hey, Tansy. I wasn't able to catch your friend earlier, so I'll just catch you. <laughs> By running into you repeatedly with my dear. It's how you do. Hey, stay inside the ball. Who do you think you are? Before I go, I'm gonna catch that thing because, well, it's the only one here, which makes me assume that it's rare. I want you. And I will have you. So, start with this. And the battle begins. Ow, he hits for almost 300 damage? Yikes. Yo, okay. This thing means business. Oh, jeez, okay. I got my ass beat. <laughs> Luckily, my deer didn't die. I guess I'll have to make sure to keep my distance from those things from now on. Well, since I'm here, I'll go ahead and collect these balls. And arrows and coins. Anything that the Vixies drop out. Honestly, this is quite a bit of stuff. Quite. A bit. I just picked up 69. Nice. Pal spheres. That was just the first floor. Wait until I can have more creatures at my base. Oh god. <laughs> I really didn't expect to get this many, uh, spheres in one go. It's just been like a day. A single episode. I got those berries I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we should take a peek real quick. Um, yeah, they got baked berries. They'll be fine. I'll keep these ones for myself, because I apparently don't have any. Or didn't have any before I died. Oh, the deer. Look at him. Working hard. At a boy. At a boy. Now let's go get my stuff. Now if I've been keeping track correctly, anything that kills you seems to disappear if you return to the area. So, yes, look. No relaxosaurus for me. It's too bad. Take all of that. Somehow I didn't become entirely over encumbered. Impressive. Yeah, I'm gonna head back to the base, store some things, and then I'll be coming back for the great exploration. Now I just need to figure out where I want to put my coal and a few other things. Coal can go in here. Hit the take all button, of course. Put all these eggs back in the box. I forgot that you have to wait for the eggs to cook. Um... Box Barks, you are on fire. I don't mean that in the sense that you're doing really well. I, need, I mean, you're gonna die. Hold on. He's gotta be unassigned. He's reassigned. <laughs> you're just standing on the campfire. Man, now I'm on fire. Oh, man. We're having a great day. There you go, Fox Parks. <laughs> don't, don't just stand in the fire next time. Hmm? Put all these way. I need more chess. Put another one right next to this. Seems sensible. Doesn't take too long to make these, does it? I could put down a metal chest. Nah, those are expensive. Just put this one right here. There. Since as far as I can tell, the pals don't really interact with many of the items that get put in here, and they don't seem too inclined to put stone and wood. Never mind, I was wrong. I'm gonna take these out. They don't belong there. I'll take the pallium too. And we put this other stuff in here. Okay, so if you fill the chest with random things, then the pals won't be inclined to fill it with their wood and stone that they've collected. Speaking of which, how are they doing? Over here we have, well, definitely a lot more stone than wood, which is vaguely concerning, but only vaguely. All right, we'll go ahead and leave the rest of that alone. I think we have one more egg, is that right? Yes, we do. Put that in there. These skill things. I won't bother using those until I am damn sure that it's on a pal that'll be worth it. Now back to the north. Mm, Jolt Hog. Howdy, dude. You're gonna be my friend. Man, 240 pal spheres. <laughs> That's, it's a bit excessive, but I like it. Hey, hey guys, I'm gonna need you to just not. No, oh, I missed. I definitely missed big time. All right. Let's, let's try that threatening statement again. Do not mess with the wildlife. <laughs> I guess, well, actually, can I run into them? Is that, no, humans are, whoa, whoa, my frame rate, jeez. That was crazy. Must have countered as like running between environments or something. Hmm. Let's go ahead and waste this guy. Oh man, I think I'm having some kind of a lag issue. Let's get to spearing this tansy. One more? No, don't. Oh, the last hit was too much. Of course it was. Wait, I'm too easily distracted. 
We need to go north. <laughs> north. Ignore everything and go north. I believe that's where we're going to find our wheat seeds. If not, then we'll find uh, better stuff, I suppose. We have mods. That's interesting. Cinemoth. Needs silver key for this chest. Interesting. Alright, we need to find out what these mods give. So, let's catch him with a little bit of a sneak attack here. I'm gonna get my bow out too, just in case. And here we go. Oh man, this thing's tanky. Oh right, it's level 20. <laughs> that might be why. Don't get hit, don't get hit. I, as the human, am very weak. Very weak. Ouch. Okay, spheres. Ow. Damn. Nope, oh, nope. Oh. oh man, I just keep letting them hit me. Need to throw more of these balls. My deer is gonna die. Okay, back in the ball. Ooh, I caught one. Go me. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to it at all. Alright, mono we mono. You hit me, I hit you. Wait, actually, it keeps hitting me, me. Like, not the deer, but me. I forgot about that. Alright, that should be enough. We have an 11% chance to catch. Well, I've got nothing but time. Oh! Time is indeed everything that I have. Because health ain't it. I appear to have run out of that. <laughs> I think I caught it. I wasn't paying attention. Let me check. Inside the pot. I did. I sure did. That's great. Wonderful. What do these things do? As an ability, when activated, attacks targeted enemy with poison fog. Hmm. I see. And I also don't care. Ooh. I know these dire hells are supposed to be some of the fastest land mounts in the game. And the one that I caught has swift and muscle head. So it does good damage. 30% more, and it has 30% increased movement speed. Mm hmm. I think I want that over my original deer here. This one. Wait, what? I'm being raided. Oh, come on, guys. I'm already a little down in the dumps here. You gotta do me like this? Question is, where are they coming from? I guess over here. You're just gonna stand here and let you do this? Well, I don't think so. You're gonna have to run all the way up this hill, I suppose. Oh, okay, I'll run all the way up the hill. I went way past them with that antler charge. I don't have my bow, so it's literally just the deer doing all of this. Charge! Yeah, take them out in batches. <laughs> they have to make quite a trek to make it to the base, so that's a plus. Nope, oh, take him out before he gets up there. Damn it. It's kind of annoying waiting for the abilities to recharge. Go ahead and hit this one. There we go. And one more to go. Charge! And I missed. It likes to unleash the attack on that antler charge a little early. Let's run through here and figure out what kind of items they drop. So far it's been gold, and one of them dropped uh, medium pal souls. They're dropping medicine and honey. What is up with these drops? They are really all over the place. I think that's all of them. No, there's one in the wall, it would seem. Buddy, did you just give up? Is that what's going on here? You, <laughs> you done? <laughs> You saw your friends get wasted and decided not to fight anymore? Well, that's smart. Not that it's gonna let you stay alive, but still smart. Smarter than the rest of them. Now let's go ahead and make our way back into the base so we can fast travel toward our loot. The goodies. Pick up a handful of pal spheres and be on our way. Actually, hold on. Let me see if I... Okay, can I dismount, please? Thank you. Jeez. If there's an item underneath you, you can't dismount or mount. Okay, so I need to set that uh, saddle thing for this dog to be crafted real quick. I bet I have the resources. And then we'll get straight back to our goodies. Now, that should be right here at this one. Did I not learn the engram? Sorry, the technology... It's the same in my mind. Dire Howl. Dire Howl. This thing. Now, yeah, it's pretty easy to craft. The only annoying part, of course, being the, uh, leather. It's rather difficult to get leather. For now, I'll keep it in my party so I can continue to provide levels to it. Because similar to the new Pokemon games, the pals get XP just for being in your party. That's basically all I know about the new Pokemon games. I stopped playing around... What, gold and silver? No, black and white. It's a little hard to keep running the same exact rhythm in a game. It gets tedious, boring, annoying even. All right, let's take these goodies. Oh, what the hell is that? Robin Quill. Nah, I'm good. I don't feel like fighting the weird Power Ranger looking thing. But there was a little plant thing over here. Floppies. <laughs> what are you? Hold on a sec. Something that I eliminated did give me wheat seeds, so I think I was right in coming to the north to get these. So does this chest still take a silver key? Yes, it does. Which means my new priority, to dismount first, get Simmons attacking this thing. Yeah, get him. 
There we go. Where's my bow? Why isn't it equipped? Is it broken? Oh no. I got hit while I was sorting my inventory. Okay, Simmons. You, he did a bunch of damage. Wow. He means business. Let's try to catch this one floppy and then move on to this next one. Alright, Simmons, go. I don't know what move you've been using, but it hits like a truck. Do it again. <laughs> okay, it's that weird little AoE. He's pretty good. Alright, that's enough Simmons. I'm gonna catch this thing. I didn't pay attention to the loot again, so I'm just gonna have to keep catching them until I figure out what they drop. Oh man. This thing is definitely out for blood. 25% is a pretty good rate. And now we've got a ray. Oh, we got wheat seeds. Wait, we got wheat seeds. <laughs> Maybe we should catch a few more so we can have more plantations. I don't think the plantations, the berry ones, have been producing berry seeds. So it probably is for the best to amass these as much as possible. Which means, hey, Cinemoth, stop running from me. Come on. Ah, oh, that missed. Of course it did. Do not run. Okay, Simmons, do whatever you were doing. Oh dear, that must have been that ability where it charges up and uses poison or whatever. Simmons, go. Come on, Simmons. He's doing all the fighting for me, like he should. Oh dear, I'm gonna watch out for these projectiles. They hit like a truck. It's definitely far worse than anything in the beginning area. Oh, that should do. Oh, remember? Not taking damage is more important than doing damage. Okay, catch this thing before it kills me. I'd like to have a shield or something that I could just <laughs> pull up and reduce the damage because it hurts a lot. All right, I can see that there's two more just from the HUD there, the UI, that are very angry with me. I'm not sure I want to pick a fight with them, so I'll do this a lower level thing. Get that Bristla, Simmons. Bristla looks kind of like a blossom. Uh-oh. Yeah, get him, Simmons. I still can't even see... Okay, there it is. It is a blossom. <laughs> Sometimes they're a little on the nose. What is that thing? Th that Robin Quill thing is after me, too. Oh, God. I should go before they kill me. Balls. What is that? What is this? Get away from me. Ouch. Oh, that only hurt a lot. Okay, okay. Nope, nope. All good. Balls. That missed. Of course it did. Jump, throw. Jump, throw. What is that? Okay, okay. I think I'm... He didn't have to hit me while I was down. <laughs> These things are vicious. Hey, I think I got most of what I wanted. <laughs> most. Everybody's sleeping, I see. Slacking off. Oh dear, I'm cold. Well, let's hop on the deer real quick. Get it? Oh dear. Because it's faster, make our way all the way back to our loot. That Robin Quill thing was dangerous. Ah, I see, and my loot is now surrounded by sleeping humans. Wonder if I can kill them in one hit. Probably not. I wouldn't bank on it. I'll just grab my things and sneak on back to the base. Don't mind me, fellas. Do not mind me. <laughs> they actually stayed asleep. Wonderful. Since we have this, it would be for the best to make our way all the way. Wait, poker tees. How many of these do we have? Well, whatever that amount is, we're about to have another one. Because I want ten of everything. Or more like the devs want me to want ten of everything. But that works for me. I'm pretty sure that one's guaranteed. And now we have one more on the way. I said one more on the way. I feel like these things gave me a hard time in the beginning of the series, too. 99? Yeah, we got them. You're mine. What about Daydream? Should we have more of these? Probably. It's become a lot easier with the arrows and spheres being automated by the Vixies. I keep getting gold, too, but I'm not super concerned about that. I probably won't mess with the traders for a good while. Alright, we got the few creatures. Back to the base. I think we only got enough for one wheat plantation, but it'll do for now. Ah, uh, this is not my base. <laughs> Oops. Attempt number two to get home. I do love that the Tombats just keep on going. Now, I think I should make a second floor to my base and put the plantations up there, perhaps. Or... Uh, nah, I guess not. There's no need. We'll just put them right next to these ones. Plantation. Yeah, I only have enough for one. Oh, they're bigger. I see. We'll just put it right here. Doesn't have to be perfectly aligned or anything. Simmons, do work. Oh, this is gonna take a little bit. Hmm. Yikes. Too bad the Tombats can't craft anything. Instead, they just keep on mining away. But they are good at it. It's probably why I have <laughs> almost 4,000 stone. Is that... What I'm at? Mm, 3,000 stone, but I only have 500 wood. For shame. I need to get better woodcutters. I am tempted to replace the monkeys, the tansies, with deer. Because deer have two in their woodcutting 
work, whatever stat, which means that they can cut wood roughly twice as fast, I assume. But the monkeys also help me craft things. If it were daytime, they would have helped me with this. Oh, now we have wheat on the way. I have to plant this myself because it's nighttime? Oh god, I can't. I just can't keep doing it. My own work? Having to do that? Ugh. Oh god. My right, base upgraded, which means we can assign another pal, and we can build a weapon workbench. Or not can, we have to. And we will. But first things first, let's see what a floppy does. Requires a necklace, while in team, appears near the player, so I think you can have it out, doing a generic attack while you have other pals out, so it's always active, and automatically picks up nearby items. That seems interesting. Very interesting, actually. I might have to look into that. But for now, I'm good. We already saw what the cinema did, so... Let's figure out how to build a weapons workbench. Before that, we will assign something to the base here. I don't know what, but something. Hmm. Do we need more miners? Maybe, maybe not. I don't think so. It wouldn't hurt to have another woodcutter, or a better one, minimally. Actually, no. We'll continue with miners, because if there's too many of them, they'll start to go for the actual ore. That is the goal. So, I believe this tombat is the ideal one. Yes, it is. And our egg is done. Let's figure out what it is. We hold F here to incubate it. Uh, it takes a little bit of a moment. And we have a grin tail. Let's take a peek at it. Grin. Grin. Right here. Ah, the Cheshire Cat. I see. It can be ridden. Enhances neutral attacks while mounted. Interesting. I wonder if the arrows count as a neutral attack. <laughs> I think that would be realistic, if you ask me. Well, interesting, to say the least. This has been episode 13. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.